Hey guys, what's up? This is Hugh Sweeney here, back with another video. It's been a long time since I've done a video. Apologies for that. Um, I've had various uh, complications that have sort of resulted in me having to look after work before YouTube and stuff like that. So I haven't been doing uh, much videos, but I've loads of stuff on the way. Trust me on that. Um, today was a pretty cool side, uh, cool day uh, for Black Magic people. Um, the NAB show featured a whole host of new Black Magic products and cameras and stuff like that. So I was so excited uh, by seeing them on Facebook and stuff like that that I said I'd just talk about it and give you my thoughts. Uh, I currently have two Black Magic cameras, both this one, which is um, recording me right now, it is the 4K BM. Uh, BMPC production camera. I also have this guy, the famous Blackmagic Cinema camera. Still absolutely loving this camera. And if you if you uh, if you have a look closely here, you'll see that I've got a brand new lens. This is the new Tokina Cine lens, which is fantastic. So I'll do a review of that as well. So I'm really enjoying these cameras. But I will say, just seeing the the launch of the new cameras today, um, it's left me feeling a little bit disheartened and really wanting a new camera. First up, of course, last year they released a camera called the Ursa. Uh, this camera weighs a ton. I think it's something like 17 pounds or something like that. A lot of people really loved to hate this camera when it came out, even though it was incredibly good value. Uh, I think $6,000 or something like that. It's since dropped down in value, or it's dropped in price today. They uh, also have announced that it um, it's upgradable, they have a new sensor for this camera coming out, which sounds absolutely fantastic. So the, uh, the new sensor, which you can buy for about $2,000 when it's eventually released, uh, will um, allow you to uh, get 4.6K, so it's a larger sensor. It's also got 15 stops of dynamic range and it shoots raw, so absolutely fantastic. So the, up, the Ursa is upgradable. Uh, plus, one thing about the Ursa is it's got a it's got a fantastic um, uh, high speed uh, option, high speed shutter option. You can shoot like 4K raw at 120 frames per second. Uh, it'll go even higher than that as well if you have a cropped sort of windowed um, thing. So the the Ursa that's one thing that they released today is a new sensor. Are they announced as a new sensor, an upgradable sensor for the Ursa? The Ursa, as far as I know, is the only Blackmagic camera that has an upgradable sensor. Uh, now, this guy came out today. Um, I, one thing about Blackmagic here, I absolutely love their imagery on their website. The photographs that they, they use and the, the way they're touched up is brilliant. This is brand new. It's, uh, it's going to be released, they reckon, sometime maybe towards uh, the end of the summer, fall. It is the... Uh, the Ursa Mini. Everyone was complaining so much that the Ursa was just a big, massive horse of a camera. So they, they packed all the features pretty much from the Ursa into this much smaller, much lighter mini camera. Now it's shown here with a few accessories um, that you can buy for it, but I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, that's basically the camera. It looks pretty cool. It's a little bit, it's obviously a lot more compact than the, um, the, the bigger Ursa. Uh, it's smaller, it's a little bit angular, kind of space age looking. Um, but again, it's just, it's an awesome camera. Now, there's uh, two options for this. So you can buy the Ursa Mini with the same sensor that is in the current uh, Blackmagic Ursa. Also the same sensor that's in my camera here. It's the Super 35 4K sensor. But you can also buy it with the 15-stop uh, sensor, the larger 4.6K sensor. And uh, it means that um, you will get that that you will have access to the uh, higher dynamic range there and all that. It's a fantastic camera. Um, of course, it's got the options. You've got the SDI there. You've got ins and outs, audio, much much better specs, of course, than the, uh, the camera here that I'm filming with the the production camera. You've got the battery plate, all that kind of stuff included. Uh, you'll just see here that they've shown you the size, the new size of the new sensor. It's a quite, uh, quite a big uh, jump up if you look at it uh, on the outside here. Comparing to the, um, the HD, obviously, it's a massive uh, jump up. Now, one downside to this camera, as well as the Ursa, is it takes these CFast cards. And even though the CFast cards are a very small card, uh, they, they cost absolutely ridiculous money. I mean, like hundreds and hundreds of euros or hundreds of dollars, whatever. 
I think they're like, you know, $800 for a 120 gig card. And one thing about the uh, these cameras is you need two of them because what it does is it uses two cards at the same time. And uh, DaVinci Resolve has a way of um, offloading that information uh, for you. But um, it sounds a bit complicated, but it's not a problem. But so that means you have to go and buy two cards. And you're going to have to spend like 1,600 euros straight away. And that's only for 240 gigabytes with two cards. Um, I've always liked the SSDs. People say the SSDs aren't as good a format, but I think they, um, the SSDs work, work great for me. Um, you'll see some of the connections on this camera, the, uh, the Ursa Mini. Um, you've got your, uh, your Lang there, you have your stereo XLRs on the top of the camera. Um, I'm sure that works out pretty cool. SDI and all that stuff. Uh, there's a 3mm headphone jack, um, 3.5mm. I would prefer a, a smaller, or sorry, I would prefer the larger headphone jack that you get with bigger kind of DJ headphones and stuff like that. Um, it looks awesome. I mean, it's a little bit retro looking, as I said, angular and stuff like that. Now it has this handle um, kit. It's got this handle that comes with it, which is um, is pretty cool looking. Um, you'll see at the top there, this guy is holding it. It, it, you can buy accessories for it. You can buy this shoulder plate. I've seen that used by Grant Petty in a video. It's also got this, um, you've got options here to buy the um, EVF. It's the Blackmagic Ursa viewfinder. And it works with both the Ursa and the, um, the Mini Ursa. Um, I'm sure you could get it to work with the uh, other cameras as well. But it's, um, it's very expensive, it's $1,500, uh, which is pretty much the same in euros. But apparently it's got a, a very, it's got a huge detail to it, so you can't, it's just, it's just like looking through a viewfinder. It's, it's absolutely, or a, a optical viewfinder. It's absolutely fantastic. The shoulder kit, as I was just talking about, is um, um, $395. It's also got the, um, battery plate thing here for 95. Now when you're buying the Mini Ursa, the, um, the four options that you have, there's, there's actually quite a few options. You can buy a PL mount. Uh, firstly, the cheapest option is to buy the one with the same sensor that's in the Blackmagic production camera and the same sensor that's in the, the, the current Ursa. And that's the uh, Super 35 sensor. And that will come in, you can buy that for $2,995, which is pretty, a very, very, very good price. Um, you can get the 4K PL, which uh, is costing about $500 more. And then if you want to get the one with the 4K, uh, 4.6K EF sensor, you're looking at another another uh, two grand on top of the um, original price there. And then if you want to make that PL, you're looking at five and a half grand dollars. So if you add the, f the couple of accessories, then if you were to get a viewfinder and the base plates, a couple of CF cards, a few batteries to get yourself set up, you'd be looking at a nice few grand, but it still is, uh, as cameras go, it's um, fantastic. I think this new sensor with its, um, with its uh, um, 15 stops of dynamic range is gonna really be a game changer. If, if the sensor looks anything like the quality that you get from the sensor in the um, Blackmagic Cinema camera with that real filmic kind of ARRI type look. I think this camera is going to absolutely change the game completely. It's shooting RAW, it's got this new compressed RAW format and all that, so it's, it's really going to be just fantastic. Um, so it's pretty awesome looking beast. You can either, sh as far as I know, I'm not 100% sure, you can either shoot in the um, global shutter or rolling shutter and when you shoot with the rolling shutter it'll let you do more frames per second um, i won't really go into too much detail but that is the uh the ursa mini i think it looks really really cool um let's just have a look again what they have they've also brought out this um this little camera right here now it's shown it's shown and mounted on a, on a fairly small drone but basically it's called the black magic micro cinema camera it's the smallest, the world's smallest digital film camera with innovative remote control. It's such an awesome looking thing. Again, I mean, look at these images. They're, they're absolutely fantastic, these images on the website. Um, remote control camera management. This thing is designed completely for drones and drone use. When you're looking at it here on the screen, you, you, you think it's big. You think, you, you're going to think it's almost the size of the cinema camera, but it's actually only like three, three inches wide, 3.5 inches wide. It's literally that wide and uh, it's only 2.7 inches deep. 
Uh, I don't know that much about it, um, but I can tell you that it's got a similar image, similar uh, spec to the um, the pocket camera, but it shoots in 4K. But as a similar spec as in a, it's got a, a Super 16 sensor, tiny little sensor, 13 stops of dynamic range, which is pretty awesome. And uh, it'll let you shoot in a few options. It's got a HDMI out. I don't think it has a SD um, out, SDI out. Um, it's got this expansion port. It takes SD cards, uh, which is probably, you know, the right way to go. Um, it also lets you take these batteries. I think it takes these uh, Canon style um, batteries as well. Uh, Canon, <laughs> and which is very very good because a lot of people, you know, if you have your if you've got a Canon already. Um, a Canon camera, like a 5D or something, you can use the same batteries. Um, so it shoots in, let me see what, what it can shoot in. It, I know it shoots in 4K RAW. Introducing the Blackmagic Micro Cinema camera, a miniaturized Super 16 professional digital film camera that is designed to be operated remotely and capture action anywhere. So it shoots in, um, let me see, it's a MFT lens mount. So people who have the uh, MFT Blackmagic cameras, uh, like the pocket and the cinema camera, this is just gonna be such a brilliant add-on to your, to your equipment. I mean, um, firstly, it lets you do a higher, the higher frame rate, it'll do 60 frames a second. That is the big, big negative with these cinema cameras and the production camera that I have. It really catches me out. Now, there's a huge demand for that. So Blackmagic have allowed for that with their Ursa and their uh, Mini Ursa. Obviously, they've got brilliant frame rates. But this guy um, has got a, a, a 60 frames a second, which is still uh, pretty awesome. When you slow that down to 24 frames, it's gonna be, it's gonna give you that lovely smooth look, slow motion look. It's super, uh, it's super adaptable. It's very light, very small, ideal for your drones. I mean, it's even pictured on what looks like one of those smaller drones, uh, smaller, lighter drones. It shoots in, uh, in a global shutter as well which will stop with that uh, jello effect. Uh, it'll help you with the, um, it'll, it'll be easier to stabilize the footage and stuff like that. I think it looks great. Blackmagic Design have also announced um, their, um, a, a recorder, this uh, recorder called the Blackmagic Video Assist. It's a high resolution, large monitor for perfect focus and framing. And uh, it'll also record, so um, it's, it's a recorder as well. It's uh, up against the Atomos Ninja and uh, the Atomos uh, Shogun. It looks cool. It's um, it's got a slightly thick border. I'm not crazy about how much space is lost on the actual border, but it's a seriously robust looking device. It's apparently got a very very bright screen. You can see the connections here at the side, the HDMI options plus SDI, which is is uh, is brilliant. Um, it's got volume uh, headphones here. You've also got power in. Uh, you've got your SD cards there. It records in. Um, it records in ProRes as far as I know. It's great. And it's it's only priced at $495. I think that's a fantastic price. What size is it? Let me see. It's a five inch screen, so it's not overly big, but when you think about it, a five inch screen is, uh, you know, it's usually more than enough to get a good uh, shot, especially when you want to, when you want to keep your, your, um, your rig fairly compact you might want a big massive monitor so i think this is a fantastic option especially for uh you know owners of the, like the pocket camera and stuff like that um so that is another product that they um came out with today so let me see if there's any other products that they have of course they still have the uh the black magic cinema cameras um which i have um, obviously I'm a little bit disheartened that I, I haven't got that uh, slow frame rate option. Um, I think for me, um, if I could save my money, I think the Ursa Mini would be a fantastic upgrade for me. Please God, touch wood in about a year's time. Um, I think that uh, it would be just awesome, especially with that, uh, that new sensor. I mean, Blackmagic, the, the, this new sensor that they have, 15 stops of dynamic range. It could be a very filmic looking sensor. It's going to have better options. It's going to be better in low light. It's also going to have uh, better ISO um, options there as well. It's going to, I, I, I think if it looks, as I said, if it looks anything like the, um, 
the Blackmagic uh, cinema camera sensor looks, it's going to be a game changer. It's it's really going to... What I love about these uh, the announcement today is that it's going to sort of sicken all the uh, Blackmagic haters because there are, there are a few. I see a lot of people. As far as I know, Bill, Philip Bloom, absolutely. Uh, I think he hates the Blackmagic Ursa. So it'll be interesting to see what the likes of him thinks of the uh, Ursa Mini. So there you go. I think Blackmagic are a fantastic company. They they always deliver on uh, their products. Don't forget they make Resolve as well, the world's best color grading software, and they probably have a new version of that out. Um, it's uh, fantastic. I love using that software. So that is all for now. I'll have more videos soon. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll be back with more. Today we're recording on the uh, Sennheiser microphone, the 416. So until next time, chat soon. Bye now. Thank you.